you know. Yeah, yeah, it was really small, but now it's good. Okay, well, I mean, you don't, you, you don't play the format so much. You probably know it too well. It's shrunk. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know if I'm going to start this off or I'm just going to hit record and just cut in the middle and start with us talking and stuff. Boom, right, right. In the Yeah, go right. <laughs> oh, shit, did, yep. that did I miss something? <laughs> but, uh, all right, well, we'll go over the recap for season two of the Buckeye League. I'm here with me, David Robbins. We got my man Roland here. From and, the resource and, row. And then we have Earl T. What's up? What's up, what's up? So, so we just all we do the normal recap at the end. We're gonna go through what format we were doing, look over the draft real quick, and then break down kind of each player lineup matchups and just kind of look over everything and talk a little bit about next season as well. So as as y'all see, we're within the it's all good format. Um, if you've been playing any online, you're probably super familiar with this format. If you haven't been playing the um. Breakdown, you had to have one of the 14 main characters. There were seven anti-regs and seven pro-regs. Um, and the rest of your deck had to be all good characters. There could be no evil or no neutral characters in your deck. You can have other neutral cards. They just couldn't be characters. Um, anybody got thoughts on the format? Now we almost three months into this. Just three months. It felt like three years. This uh, this format started off really really fun and uh, it kind of I, I think it kind of got stale at the end I think I think just the, the small amount of MC made I think that's the smallest MC count we had in any of the formats yeah and, and I, I, I actually so. there there were no I think for me the biggest thing I think that kind of got um. Took me away from it towards the end. There were no, you couldn't sneak in no MC that nobody didn't know about. Mm -hmm. I think everybody had played every MC. Yeah, and I think I think you're right. A, a generally more familiar with every option that you had at MC kind of, I think, made the the play a little bit stale. So everybody pretty much has the same end game. Get to Agamotto or Namor or Namor. Yeah, so and then and then Spider Man did whatever he wanted. Yep, whatever a spider can. <laughs> so um, next we'll go to the draft. Here I have all the MCs in this format, and then I just have the initials, and then the, the number that um, people will draft it. So the um, the, the MCs are in the rank that um, we put them into the um, Buckeye League uh, officiating the um, Super Smart Crew, whatever you want to call us. Um, we ranked the MC before this the season. I, we probably wouldn't have them in the same rank if we did this again. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> but this is the rank we came in, you know, just not really playing too much and just kind of film. But as you see the draft, but I think still, no matter how we do, I think Spider-Man still had to be at the top. Definitely. And then, like I said, so he was the first pick. Um, Miss Marvel right there. I think, I think the top two is definitely, and then it get real shaky after that. Right. Like I said, I mean, I have to admit, I was kind of high on She Hawk, and she shouldn't be that high. No, and Wash should be way higher. Wash should be higher. Black Panther was only Black Panther and Storm was only played once this season, so them were clearly the bottom two. Well, we'll just talk about each of the draft picks and stuff as we go through each player's card. So, starting from the highest ranked person going down to the lowest. So, the highest rank and one of our co champ, Mitch. So, as you see, he, um, with the seventh pick, got Spider Man. I don't know how Spider Man fell to seven, though. I guess well, it was he, the second Spider Man. Huh? It was the second. Yeah, it was the second Spider Man, but I just still didn't think the second one would get down to seven. Right. No. And, and, and the fact that they allowed Mitch to get him. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean insult to injury. <laughs> <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. And then he took Black Panther with his second pick. I think you, we make everybody pick two pick, and that kind of what happened with that. Mm. So, like I said, um, this was his first rank um, tournament he was in, um, five and one. He lost week one and then won against everybody else. Looked like he played against a couple Cables, a couple Miss Marvels. Captain America and Namor, so 
So y'all thought about this? Anything y'all want to say about Mitch here? Ash is Namor deck. Well, I guess we'll get to Ash when uh, we look up him, but I could see why Ash would be Mitch's 1L this season. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, so... But, I mean, he's definitely the highest ranked person in the Buckeye ranking right now. Um, I think he's doing pretty well on Bill Face, so he'll probably be up there for a little while. So, and if he's back for the next season, I think he already signed up. He'll be the last pick, most likely. Moving along, we have Jamar, the uh, Coke champ. Um, he was actually the second pick, so that means he had the second worst rank coming to the season. But now he's number two. Yeah, we had, good, we had a good run. Right, yeah. I mean, he had Miss Marvel, of course, you know, um, he lost to Mix, mm -hmm. understandably, but then um, he got a win with Storm, too. He went and stuck in the Storm win. Against Namor. Right. <laughs> but, um, that is. <laughs> I know, did we get that game on record? <laughs> So I mean, like I said, five and one. Like I said it's five and one was the top for this season to make him seven and three. So that means he was two and two last year, seven four. Um, but but yeah, Miss Marvel, we got had we had a one, the top one. I thought she was number one. I was outvoted for Spider Man, but after it all played out, I think I was wrong in that time. I'm saying a lot of my wrong. You don't usually hear that much, <laughs> but we'll let that slide this time. But um, yeah, man. But he played a, he played against three different Spider Mans. One of each time, a Zemoor and then a Black Widow. But I guess her counter, minus counter, can't keep up with her plus one counters. She gets big fast. If you can't deal with it, you're going to get hit. Moving yeah. right. All right, anything else before we move along to? Very good job with the storm wind. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> right, yeah. Props. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, Ralph, he was one of our last year's co-champs, and he won the Seal League, so he got a couple ranked championships in here. But um, he went three and three. He played three times with Walsh, three times with Spider-Man, and went three and three. Um, I know you're glad to see that first one he got there rolling oh, with Spider-Man. I love you, Ben, but I'm so happy <laughs> Ralph beat Ben with Anti-Red Spider-Man. The Vindication. <laughs> I mean, he lost everybody else with him, but... Details? Details? <laughs> right. We're not going to look at those details. But he had, like, he like, so I think, yeah, he had the last pick in this year's, in this season draft. No, he didn't have the last pick. Um, James had it. Then he had the mm -hmm. the two in between. So, um, he was towards the top. Um, but, I mean, still a pretty good record because he had a pick late in such a small MC pool. Mm -hmm. I think the people picking at the top of this pool had a huge advantage compared okay. to the first season. Mm -hmm. with, I agree. I, I mean, with the, like I said, with such a small pool, I mean, Walsh, I mean, she ended up being a lot better than we even thought at the beginning. And then Spider-Man, like I said, if, could make him work, but... I mean, he lost with tough matchups, so, I mean, you can't really fault him for the L's he took with him. Right. So, moving along. Vern. So, I mean, he usually right there towards the top any time we play him. So, I mean, he was one game away. If he would have beat Mitch, he would have been a cold champ. Yeah. But well, he, he, he wanted a few people this season to take advantage of the supplemental draft. So he, he, I guess he didn't really feel that high on Walsh, so he dropped for a game with Zemore, but he still ended up losing with it. So <laughs> should have stuck with Wasp, Vern. <laughs> but you know, Team Apex had their way, so you know, I'm pretty sure that there's some reason he did that, but that's a secret we'll never know about. But uh, yeah, he won his first. I think he won his first four. He was just you know. Probably just felt like Cable was unbeatable. So, like, you know, I'm going to stick in the Zemo. He's out there in the pool and then lost. And then he went back to Cable, but ran up against Miss. Was, well, I, I seen a couple of his. Well, he recorded a few of his games this mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. And that, that Miss Marvel on two and them, all those Spider Mans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That were doing some big damage. Tossing Charlie 27. Right. Okay, um, but I mean, he still got above 500, oh, above the 1,000 mark. I mean, he's still going to be, Varnley already played to look out for. Mm -hmm. 
Now we got Jason. My favorite nemesis. So, uh... So like I said, yeah, he, he tried Luke Cage week one, him and Roland. <laughs> that was great. I think, I think they, they tried to to, to meet at each other. We did. I, right, yeah, I think <laughs> I, I, yeah, it, it actually, they like, oh, no, they thought the other one was going to play the, the other MC, and I mean, it, it almost like a game of chicken. They just ran into each other. Yep. I think Roland won that, but I think he made the Luke Cage one more time and then left him alone. Mm -hmm. Like... You know what? This was a bad idea, and we shouldn't do this anymore. <laughs> but he did have Miss Marvel as a backup, which you know, she again. So what? She maybe I think she only had two losses this tournament. Yep. So she because yeah, that who um, Jamal was five and one. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, he you no, know, she was four and one because he won the other game with Storm. Yeah, exactly. So so yeah, Miss Marvel only took one loss this whole event and was used eight times, eight, mm -hmm. eight to ten, ten times, ten times. But whatever, Miss Marvel was balling. I mean, I mean, yeah. But Miss Spider Man, that's another game I did see recorded. It's just every time Jason tried to do something, Miss Marvel would hit her, or Charlie would hit her. It was just mm -hmm. wasn't a good look. But um, moving right along, we have Roland Christie. I'll let him talk about this. I'll be quiet for a bit. All right. So I definitely had to play Cap. Um. And I got Luke Cage as my second. I wasn't super high on Luke Cage, but again, Jason and I tried to meta each other the first round. Um, I did... Oh, I did play Luke Cage a second time. I ran him back and uh, lost to Vern. Just just to point out, usually um, playing the resources each turn usually helped with winning, too. That's something I think he found out week two. Oh, my goodness. You know. Uh, misplays. I hate misplays. All right, actually, I think I won a game and lost a game with all three of my guys. That's interesting. I did uh, did take the Elda, Kyle, and Black Widow, which I couldn't be mad about because I still love Nat. But um, I did beat Rob with uh, his Pro Reg Spider Man, so that was pretty fun. Uh, nothing but love for you, Rob. And then of course I did my Hulkbuster Iron Man. Yeah, Osh just totally run me over with Avengers Ramp and Namor. And there wasn't a whole lot I could do there. And then I got to play James Monroe, and he was doing anti-reg Spider-Man. But I think I got to Agamotto, and once you hit Agamotto, it's, it's pretty much game over. But yeah, I, I liked these three MCs a lot, especially for Buckeye League, because you're not trying to be super competitive, and you can have that room to... I think I may go back and look at Luke Cage again because Luke Cage with a mini gun from Prey, that, that's that's a lot of fun. That was uh, Jason's tech. So yeah, I think you might be one of the only few people to say you want to go back to this format because not this format, <laughs> but maybe that MC. Okay. <laughs> I think the other uh, Luke Cage still might be getting some new look now. He got a new buddy. His buddy upgraded. That's true. Danny yeah, Man Daredevil. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm playing that deck right now. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I played against it. I mean, like I said, <laughs> it, it's like he, you know, went to kid birthday like that movie where they on that beach and they get old all of a sudden. Like he just got more experience, you know. <laughs> I, I'm better. I make you better. Everybody's better now. It's just everything is awesome. <laughs> you don't even need to spend I, just, <laughs> I know this is a little off topic, but. We were playing that game the other day, and you had Task the new Taskmaster out. Oh yeah! And I had I had Daredevil and Blade. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, that's stupid. <laughs> There's a lot of math going on there. <laughs> I know that one. Would, no, I had the old Taskmaster. Oh, the old Task. Oh, oh. so the because he got the boost blue. from Daredevil, and he had Daredevil and Blade. So oh. the old Taskmaster got Daredevil and Blade ability, but he don't get to find the evil person mm. and. Then we were powering up to offset each other. It was just a... I mean, my brain shut down for a second after that. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, mm. I think we almost did what Vern Lee said. Just say, you know what? You know what? It's a stunt. Forget it. We're, we're not calculating <laughs> it's, it. It's exactly. <laughs> All right, we're moving right along from rolling. And here we at Cal. Um, he actually had a pretty good... I mean, like I said, he was... If he would have won the last game, he would have been a co-champion as well. But um, 
He he got a win with Seahawk. That's his accomplishment. That is after huge. playing with her. Yeah. And then but <clears throat> but Black Widow, like I said, um, if you could get her to work, I mean she's good, but when she don't hit, or or she or she um run into a dagger or something. Yeah. I hate to say uh, it, but she is high risk, low reward. <laughs> The the She Hulk, you know, you mentioned She Hulk in the win with She Hulk. She's one of the characters I was excited about. You, you, me, you. and then putting her together, it just it seemed to to just whiff, and uh, it didn't seem to work. I don't know. I I mean, the more I played, I start realizing that Green Power is a trap on her level two. If, if you pay for that, you may get a one plus one count, maybe two. But you have already used all your plot twists to get there. And yeah. I think that's what I hate most about her. You have to play subpar plot twists right. to level up. And then the plot twists only on her turn. Mm-hmm. So you can't use the good hands to get the pump mm-hmm. or nothing. I and mean, it, if it was any plot twist, any turn, oh, I think man. she rocks right. so hard. Good from far, far from good. <laughs> man, I couldn't even get her to work with Avengers Ramp. That's... The closest I came in went uh, the, um that one Omega mm-hmm. and playing the Tatman. I mean, I could kind of, but and then the runner may use some of the open fire plot twists. He right. would get pumps and stand around. But besides that, no, she, she is not. Those good. cards aren't in this format, Dave. I know. Uh, <laughs> my man, I was talking about. Uh, I was just trying to make her work. I mean, man. Oh he, yeah. I mean, I, I had to get a Yu Gi Oh card to try to win the game with her. It was it was bad. <laughs> try to get a monster reborn, you know. <laughs> But moving right along, James, um, he came in as the highest ranked person um, because he won the bill phase and haven't had any losses. But um, he hit with Cable. Cable, I think I was high on Cable. Mm-hmm. Um, Spider-Man, you know, like I said, he, he, he was one of the middle tier ones, but he didn't get no win with that Spider-Man with um, Anti-Rez, but in a couple Cable wins. Yeah, Tony put him down pretty hard. Okay, I well, <laughs> so, but um, I mean, like I said, a lot. I said, I don't think people play as compared in this league, which is kind of good, you know. And plus, yeah. you limit you you limit on what MCs you can play. You know what you're playing against. So some people, I know, they match up a little harder. Or they may some people may just play one deck and just roll it out each week and don't care about the matchup. But I mean. <laughs> But James, like I said he wanted to play. He's a good player, but he is an up and down player. Like when he when he up, he real up. But when he's down, he's down. That's why I tend to see with him. Anything else here before we move on? No. no. And then we have also. Oh, I'm gonna start off by apologizing to him. So at the beginning of his, I didn't realize his Discord name and his real name. So. I didn't have his correct rank for the draft, so he should have had. He should have been like the fifth pick instead of the eighth. Um, for that mistake, we're gonna throw him a few extra tokens. Um, I'll get with you on that. But um, but here we are now. He went with Nate Moore. He, I think he picked Iron Man. He had no intentions of playing Iron Man. He been trying. He's still trying to trade Iron Man right now. I think he <laughs> called me and see if he can make a trade for Iron Man. And season already <laughs> over. <laughs> But like I said, Roland was talking about his name all deck, and he made it work. Mm-hmm. Um, he 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 won his opponent forfeit on him. Um, I forgot. Oh, that Mister Ben couldn't make mm-hmm. their game. So you know, um, again, just to explain the forfeit the way we do it. Um, you'll still get credit for the win through the Buckeye League, but through the rank part, you won't get credit for that win. But it's not right. even like the game it even played. Right. If it's not played at all, then it doesn't count for your ranking. So, but I mean, he's still above a thousand. You know that way you kind of want to be. I mean, I, I haven't played chess ranking, but I'm assuming above a thousand where you want to live at. <laughs> but I think we're about to drop below that line right about now, and here we are, my man Joe. One of the bill phase. Um, yeah. So he he, he the one who traded with Roland. Um. They traded Iron Man for Captain America. I guess they felt some type of way about the team they were on, so. Little bit. 
I just wanted to try right. my Hulkbuster deck. But um, it looked like he he wasn't having any luck with Iron Man at the beginning, so you know he gave him the boot. Pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I just want to keep the shield. You can have the rest." I am a little disappointed, Joe. You could have had that end game scene of Cap versus Cap, but you went Zemo versus Cap, which is thematic. I get, but uh. so um, but yeah, so he was last year. He was last season Cold Champ, but um, this time, like I said, I don't. I mean, I, I think I talked to him about a couple of games, but like I said, Zemo just wasn't hitting off like he was supposed to. Um. Earl could give you more details about playing decks that don't, you know, do what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Burn. Yeah, some, sometimes you play Zemo and you play 24 one drops. You get to turn three and you don't have any. So, you know, sometimes it happens. <laughs> so, but here we are. But like I said, um, he did Big Ben, so I think it hit, but I think this is a great season for him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I think, if I'm not wrong, since I did this bite below him, we have Mr. Ben. I done one of the Bill Faye, um, we get to, we get to talk to him a bit. We in the Patriot group, so we talk to him a bit. Well, we in the Apex, too, so we talk to all of them, you know, a little side chat. But, um, I did get to play against him one week, so, you know, I felt bad for Black Panther not getting a <laughs> look at all so far. So, we had to play a drop in week Five, so each of the gut judges jumped in the game, so people don't have to have buys. So I played Black Panther, and again, um, if Captain America is hit again, his multiple man's out there. Not really much you could do. But when he don't have like that, he he actually did a whole um podcast on on his Captain America deck. It was very enjoyable. Yeah. So, but basically, I mean, to sum it up, if he got if he had the board control. He would control in the game. If he didn't have the board control, he would lose. And in my game, he had board control. He could do this all day. <laughs> well, you know, still not a you know, good look for the first season, you know. But I'm happy uh, he specifically mentioned this. He came into the tournament. He wanted to play Captain America. He wanted that thematic uh, feeling. And, uh, you know, tweaking in between rounds. For me, I kind of wish I had the luxury of doing that but i kind of run a blog and all the uh different mcs i got to pick were fuel for that blog so uh thanks for living my dream ben (laughs) here we are so um moving along jeremy so this is one play i said he he dropped with week five with i said we actually in this um league we kind of encourage if if you're not going to be able to play just drop out that's fine we have no problem if you want to come back week six that's cool if you want to it, it, like I said, um, we don't have no top cuts or anything like that, so going in and out, we have no problem with that. We just want people who want to play, who want to play this UD, UD format, and maybe get, get a couple of rank points here and there, you know, get some tokens. We do have a prize walk that um, Epic Luke had gave us a lot of support for, so I want to give a shout out to Epic Luke for the prize support. And then we threw a few of our own calls, too, so, you know, everything won't be from the OP kids. But um, looking at Jeremy, he... um. I think yeah he wasn't at the draft so he got the, he got his people auto picked his MCs auto picked. Honestly, if you're going to get auto picked in this format, those ain't bad MCs. No, I, <coughs> right? I, I, yeah, I thought he had. I think I thought he had one of the best pair of MCs mm-hmm. like that. Like if you had to average them, like if it was a two on two basketball tournament, they would have won. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to put it, but they had the most balanced team. Um, but yeah, he ended up only get the one win with Namor, and then, like I said, um, but he did spend his token. Like I said, if you see, wonder why he got zero token, he did pick himself up a set of Cosmo. So he's oh, the first person go. to pick from the prize wall. And I confirm he did get the prizes, so he used his token guy. I think, I think after he used his token, he... You just don't want to play. I mean, I've been a Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, you don't have no tokens. It just ain't fun. <laughs> but he won the team Apex. So, you know, you, if you're on the picture, you'll see some of his deck profiles and stuff. So, I'm pretty sure we'll see these pop up eventually. Maybe get more insight in the future into these. Moving along. Yeah. He was also one of our champions in Season 1. Oh, yeah, yeah, Coke Champ. Good. Mm-hmm. Thank you thank mm-hmm. for that shout. Yeah, so we had three Coke Champions in Season 1 and 
two in season two. So we just go strictly by record. We're not really looking at tiebreakers and stuff. So, um, because the way that people jump in and out the tournament and us judges jumping in game, we don't really want to go on the tiebreakers. And then people could pick match up. Nobody had used that, but you know, you can spend your token to pick who you want to match up against as well. So, you know, I totally forgot about that. And if I had remembered, you and I would have been playing, Ben. Oh, <laughs> man. All right, next round. Next okay. Round. <laughs> so here we are at Rob. He was our top pick this season. And, um, it got him an extra win this season. Oh, nice. But, um,. Yeah, he was one of the lucky ones who got Storm. He didn't want to take that chance. I mean, if I had Spider-Man and Storm, I definitely would love to divert. Nope. <laughs> Spidey all the way. Yeah, he, he didn't even get to pick Storm. Storm was just who was left. Mm -hmm. So, but, um, I mean, he he did a three. Or he lose two, then he win. He lose two, he win. So, I guess he needed two games to get his swing going, then he would win. <laughs> I will say the game he and I played during, uh, let's see, that was week four. Um, I got really lucky with my Captain America deck, and there were several turns where he just couldn't do anything, and that that allowed me to bring the shield down on him pretty hard. Yeah. He was, I think, just, I, he was just trying to convince Spider-Man to be on anti rage oh, That's yeah, all you were yeah, doing. That, yeah. <laughs> Join me! <laughs> What were we saying, Earl? Oh, I think that he started off on um, the Pixie Max combo. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, so it, yeah. It, it almost like he played two decks, but with the same MC. But with Spider Man, you can do so many things with him. Whatever a spider can. I mean, man. he. I think he's the most versatile. Like, most of the other MC you can see, like, oh, I know you You got Captain America. You're going to probably be either on low T or got a lot of low drop on team characters. Yeah. But yeah. You could even put an Infinity Gauntlet deck together with it. You can. I heard somebody did it. <laughs> almost. Almost completed it. <laughs> it's a, I played it a couple times. It's always one turn away. <laughs> yeah, I tried an Infinity Gauntlet with Thanos last season and I lost the, the, <laughs> the dice roll. Oh, snap. <laughs> Now that what I didn't do. Mm -hmm. uh, I snapped mm -hmm. the wrong person, but um. Oh no, you you definitely snapped. Oh yeah, I did snap right. <laughs> oh man, I feel lighter. I don't oh. feel so good. <laughs> well, I think we're down to our last person here. Speaking of epic loot, we have Scott here. Um, epic Scott. Right, epic Scott. Um, Earl, you got to play against him. How did that game go? Uh. Well, I was playing Namor, and uh, he he played. Uh, he went first, and he played uh, Timbuba, oh. and uh, mm. I, I was in a world of hurt. <laughs> Did, you didn't have no t Tim and Green in hand, I'm guessing. Huh? You didn't run no Tims or no Greens to try to get around that. Not not with not with Na Namor. Oh, not with Namor. You're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I'm thinking of yeah. Zemo. My bad, yeah, you were in a bad day, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I had a chance to level up on turn five. <laughs> um, but instead of instead of playing a two and a three to level up, I played a, uh, I think a cane and a, a power loader hmm. but to I, try and stay up. And, but yeah. then... Then uh, Iron, oh, the one that makes everybody team attack, dropped and, and ended my day. So, <laughs> oh, Iron Heart. Yeah, yeah, and I never, I never leveled up, and he just pummeled me. Yeah, I mean, man, another Seahawk win. Like that never <laughs> far in between. They're right up there with the Storm win. I mean, they're like Storm, well, Black Panther, Storm, and then Seahawk. I still think if you're going to play Black Panther, well, you said this, Earl. You you just go for Maximus and go for Broke. Yeah, yeah. And then finally, we did have some Judge games. Like I said, when somebody dropped, like I said, with their odd number, we pick up the game, and that bring me and Earl in where, you know, 
It looked like they're more doing charity games. Yeah, that 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 does look. I mean, a I, I feel like I, I put in time and prepare for these. I just want everybody to know. <laughs> so, and, and, so I gotta give Sky credit here because I didn't even think about it, but I picked Namor and Helmet Zemo, and, and then so when he played me, he's like, "Well, I'm just gonna throw these Tim Boobies in here because both of us guys use Boobies." And he's like, "I feel bad for you," and I'm like, "No, it's all right. I, sh- I should." Strategizing better. <laughs> well, like I said, I was all in on Black Panther. I'm like, man, Black Panther got every MC got played at this point besides Black Panther. I'm like, I, I can't let it go down like this. I, I can't. <laughs> I had a deck prepared. I had the Doctor Strange thing going to try to cancel and then hit and throw in the Captain Universe a, a sound pack, as some people would call it on a resource mm-hmm. roll. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, he, he, but he just overwhelmed me and. And like I said, that what happened to Black Panther sometime. I mean, but finally, um, the the ranks after the season. Yeah, this is the current rank. I had to make sure I got it up to date. So, um, wait, I don't believe that. That's the beginning of the season. Oh, oh no, did I put. I did not put the new one. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have to, um, whew. yeah, okay. Well, this is the beginning of the season. Just to let y'all know, um. I thought I updated this, but I did not. Um, so you can see where people was at. Um, so that way I said, um, oh, this, this was after this was after all epic loop game, but oh, so um, I'm getting ready to bring it up now. Oh, I guess I wasn't super prepared for this. Okay, so there it goes on the screen. It's small. Hopefully, y'all can see it. If not, my bad. <laughs> so, um, oh, how you get get a little in on that? Um, uh, but we see um Scott's at the bottom. Um, he got one win, right above him, one of our judges. Um, but you know, <laughs> I, I understand that you know you you don't want people to think you know you got you you, you cheating or anything like that. Right. I don't want there to think there's any shenanigans going right. on. So. <laughs> and then we got one of the creators of the game who did one tournament. Oh, you know. But yeah, there are people without wins that's above you, Earl. <laughs> well, you know, you got to lose games. <laughs> I know. To lose points. <laughs> I'm right there, 500, but I'm still below 1,000, so I'm a little disappointed. But I play in other leagues to get wins, apparently. Oh, yeah. But that that won't be the case in this build phase this season. Um, but yeah, so that was season two to wrap it up. I think everybody had a good time. We did, like I said, still haven't had any major issue. I mean, we had a couple of the rule changes happen in the middle of it. But um, we're gonna look to update the rules next season. So like, if we have rule change, we'll make sure it happen at the beginning of the next week, and not in the middle of the week. Um, I guess that's fair. Yeah, that's that probably a little bit more fair, but you know, we didn't have any rules, so we just went with what we had. Um, so we look into hopefully, hopefully we'll have a feature format thirteen for season three. But if not, we have talked about possibly doing like a draft in the format, one of the previous twelve formats. And so, honestly, that sounds more fun than. Uh... Well, I, I, I'll give them credit. They come up with good formats, but being able to draft your format seems like a lot of fun, honestly. But like I said, we, they, they'll probably wait to the end of the month, like I said, right at the end of September 30th, and be like, oh, here go the format 13. But just in case it's tied to the symbiosis and they don't have it, we will have a season three. We will have something going on just to be on the lookout for us. I will say this about the next format. It's format 13 during the month of Halloween. So, I better have some spookiness going on. <laughs> so, I think this is going to wrap it up. You got anything you want to say, Earl? No. That, 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 that's <laughs> Earl for you right there. <laughs> Short and sweet. So, so sweet. Anything? For, I guess you want to shout out your resource roll? I'll definitely go read the resource roll uh, every Thursday morning. Or evening, whenever you can get to it. I need them views. I, I haven't read this week yet. All right, I forgive you. 
I can't believe you said it out loud. You supposed to keep that in your mind like I did. Short and sweet, Earl. Short and sweet. There's still Thursday left. There's still that Thursday left. Oh. That is true. Over here in the Eastern time zone. This is well, we we yeah, you got less time because you're in the Eastern time zone. <laughs> well, um, that's gonna wrap this up. Um, if, if you made it to the end of this, I'm proud of you. Thank you, and maybe you send me a message. I'll give you a token for that. <laughs> But um, uh, do, do I get a token for that? No. Oh, okay. Okay, but um, that gonna sign out. We'll go ahead and end this recording. Thanks everybody for listening, and hopefully we see y'all in season three.